Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Sagittarius, this is a collective love message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Sagittarius, what do we have for you? What do we have for Sagittarius? Okay. So Sagittarius, we are connecting here in this reading for you with someone who wants you to believe them. Okay, they want to kind of show you that they have good intentions, that you can trust them, that they are authentic with regards to what they're saying to you, what they mean here. It's this person really wants to kind of convince you that they have good intentions towards this connection and you and you can trust them okay when it comes to your energy uh, why Aquarius I wanted to say you might be dealing with Aquarius or you have heavy placements in Aquarius okay Sagittarius <laughs> on your side we have expectations I feel that there are there are certain things that you want this person to admit you have certain expectations regarding uh, them being held accountable for their actions that's what I am getting and I also feel that uh, for some of you, you have expectations towards this connection but it's like I do have expectations but certain things has to be resolved first um, mutual energy um, <laughs> That energy might suggest that uh, at the end of the day, both of you don't want to resign from this connection. You feel that there is something very, very difficult even to explain how you feel about each other, but you might feel like this connection, it's divinely guided. Overall energy, we have forgiveness. So that's what I was getting. There is a, I feel that you are expecting this person to essentially ask for your forgiveness or say sorry to you for whatever might have happened here between the two of you. And it's like this person, it's willing to do that based on those uh, oracle cards and they truly want you to believe them. I feel that it's very difficult to let go of this person, this connection. He is Sagittarius and it feels like this person feel the same way about this connection and you. So this is a mutual feeling. Could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Sagittarius and this connection? Seven of Swords, Hermit. We have the star, nine of wands, the chariot, and we have a king of cups. So this is someone here who has feelings for you. That's, that's, with this king of cups that is very, very visible here. So Sagittarius, you might be dealing with Virgo. I have Aquarius, I mentioned Aquarius before. Uh, and we have a Cancerian energy with the chariot so far in this reading for you six of swords at the bottom of the deck as an overall energy for this person part of the reading yeah i feel that you know with the seven of swords i feel that this person at some point um kind of give you an impression or there was a situation uh that this person showed you uh that they can be two-faced okay because seven of swords represents someone who can be sneaky who is secretive uh, who might be telling you something to reassure you but they will be they they going to or you know they're going to act in a completely different way behind your back this is someone who hasn't been fully transparent and was lying at some point to you that's why they care so much to come forward here and show you that they have pure and good intentions and that they and that they are telling you the truth we have the hermit and the star. This is someone who, I feel this is someone who kind of went for some, some sort of wake up call with the hermit. They went within and they've realized here that they want to 
have a successful connection with you Sagittarius because this hermit particularly have this star here in this Lateran and look the following card is the star it's like this person uh, went within and they have long deep kind of I think they had a long deep look at their own reflection and they realized that the that they really want to heal this connection with you you know because the star it's a major healing energy this is also a sense of direction and it's like this person is convinced that this is a right thing to do to heal this connection they are full of hope that things can be healed between the two of you we have a nine of wands yeah this is someone who knows that you know you might be unsure uh, that you might have your reservations that you don't fully trust this person because of what happened here between the two of you we have the chariot and a king of cups it feels like this person wants to prove it to you because chariot is that energy of courage this is also someone who wants to chase you in order to kind of prove it to you that they have those pure intentions represented by the king of cups that they truly love you and they want to be with you six of swords indicates here that for some of you there might be a physical distance between the two of you but it's like the six of swords this energy is focusing on this whole reading regarding their energy it feels like this person wants to come back they want to move this connection into more calmer times bringing more harmony and tranquility to this whole matter so you can expect that indeed this person might want to indeed apologize and ask for your forgiveness Show me Sagittarius's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection. Ace of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Ten of uh, Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. You are very practical, Sagittarius, regarding this whole situation. It's like you see a bigger picture here. And I feel that you are making a stand. It's now I'm going to focus on what is working for me in this case. Ace of Swords. So we have additional message magician. Queen of Pentacles, uh, Queen of Wands, excuse me, Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and Eight of Swords. You might be dealing, Sagittarius, with Virgo, Gemini. I also have Pisces energy so far in this reading for you. We have an Ace of pentacles uh, it feels that you will receive a quite significant offer here from this person offer of some sort of stability four of pentacles to the ten of cups i feel that you love this person you want to be with this person i'm going to be honest with you here sagittarius you feel this connection um and you kind of see that there is a potential that this connection can be a happy one can be a happy one based on mutual understanding and love but when this offer this is very interesting when this offer is going to be made i feel that you go you you will not give this person immediately answer like you know when they will come up some sort of offer here i feel that you will wait a little bit with the four of pentacles because it's like holding back keeping cards very close to your chest being very selective with your energy and your thoughts and i feel very strongly here that you might wait a little bit and then you will reply to them four of four of pentacles here also suggests that you know i feel that you are still holding on to this person and feelings and that's fair enough because i feel that you truly love this person we have this nine of pentacles and queen of pentacles this is pre-empress energy big time and i feel that you know you kind of see your value you know what you bring to the table 
you know that you have so much to offer but it's like you made the decision that from now on you're going to focus on yourself and maybe be a little bit metaphorically saying selfish with your choices and it's not that you are coming here from that uh, unconsider consider, un unconsiderable point of view it's just simply because it's like it's very much needed i feel that you need it for yourself you know it's like i feel that you need to kind of you yes i feel that you're coming from the place of understanding that i've been you know i've been very supportive very caring very nurturing there was this whole situation but now it's now it's my time now i want to kind of focus on myself i i'm going to prioritize my well-being and what it's working for me and i feel that you're going to make make it very very clear for this person with the ace of swords because it feels like there will be a communication quite important communication uh, regarding the future of this connection mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that you don't love this person i feel that you do but you have your reasons to kind of you know to have that sort of kind of attitude towards this whole situation mainly what i am getting here as an addi additional message i feel that you are manifesting here um, resolution to a certain issue and that issue is represented here by the queen of wands which uh, can represent a third party situation for some of you maybe at some point this person put you in a third party situation but what i am getting uh, quite strongly here is that this person at some point uh, was contributing more time and attention towards other things i feel that they prioritize maybe uh their family, their relatives, their friends, their habits, their lifestyle, their professional life, career, finances, something here, it felt like something here was far more important than this connection. Mm -hmm. And now you will receive indeed that message from them. They will reach out here and with the page of cups, it's a double confirmation that they will try to come across as someone who has pure intentions. You can also expect confession. Uh, and I can tell you what this confession will be about. This person will tell you that they don't want to be with anyone else with the Eight of Swords. And they want that and that they want only long-term relationship with you. This is what they will tell you. That they want to be with you, they want to create a serious relationship with you. That for some of you, this person will say that they want you to move in with them to live together because ten of pentacles can represent also property building and with the eight of swords it's like i don't want anyone else sagittarius here i want to be with you that's it the moon as an overall energy for your uh, for your part of the reading it suggests here that you know it's like I feel when this person will come with this offer and this is what this offer will be about. That solid offer. I, I don't want anyone else Sagittarius but you, but you. That's it. And with the moon, I feel that, you know, you will have your reservations, doubts. Mm. And I feel that you have your reasons. You might feel, well, I don't know if this person is truly means what they are telling me. Should I trust them? Should I not? The fact that the moon is here suggests that there is a need for more clarity and you might feel that this person really needs to prove it to you that that this is exactly what they want because you don't want to kind of you know experience a, some sort of disappointment ever again regarding this whole situation let's see the outcome could you please show me the outcome They want you to believe them. Page of Cups. Well, some of you children might be involved in this situation. It doesn't have to be the case. If this reading resonates with you, and for instance, your person's uh, um, s uh, sign uh, wasn't mentioned during this reading, it's okay. Okay, it's just 
you might be, you know, dealing. That's how I always try to word it on my readings because the case is that you might not be. But those sort of signs that I've mentioned during this reading, it's they they coming, they are showing up here quite prominently. So, um, so that's the case. But if your sign wasn't mentioned, this person's sign, sorry, wasn't mentioned during this reading, and you fully resonate with this reading and message, that's your message. Okay. Uh, you might be dealing with another Sagittarius. We have Libra as well. Five of Pentacles here as well we have and Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. So, okay. So what I am getting here is a Page of Cups suggests that this person will send you a message or they will be in touch with you. They will reach out. And again, Page of Cups is this kind of energy. I really want to show Sagittarius that I have good and pure intentions. And I truly mean here what I am saying. I really want you to trust me. We have your energy here, Sagittarius. The fact that your energy is like a mutual energy, it feels that at the end of the day, you will have a final word. What to do with this connection? Mm -hmm. Temperance also suggests that um, I see reconciliation represented by this card. I'm also getting that certain things can be healed between the two of you and this connection can gain more stability and harmony, balance. And it feels very strongly that both of you might want this. We have justice and five of pentacles. However, certain things has to be explained first. And justice suggests here that you're demanding truth. I feel that there is something here that this person really needs to admit they kind of take responsibility or be held accountable for their actions. They need to balance things out with you because five of pentacles suggests that at some point this person made you feel unwanted or left out in the cold with no understanding and this person refused to take into consideration your feelings and point of view. And it feels like they treated this whole situation uh, unfairly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so there is a need for an honest explanation here this person needs to balance things out with you big time eight of cups eight of cups uh, at, as an overall energy for this reading suggests that at the moment you know you might be there might be a no contact situation uh, someone here walked away or both of you kind of walked away from that situation because uh, I feel that it's 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 more of your your energy here Sagittarius because uh, something here wasn't working and it didn't really kind of make you feel happy on emotional level or you feel that there is a emotional distance between the two of you or one of the parties or maybe both of the parties decided to kind of give each other space and uh, kind of emotionally distance uh, yourself from from that whole situation nevertheless i'm getting very strongly here uh, sagittarius that this person is going to reach out and they will really try to do everything for you to kind of see that and recognize that they truly mean here something that they're going to tell you that they have good and pure intentions that they don't want to play any games, whereas maybe before they were, mm, just put it out there. But it's like with this authentic card and page of cups, there is this strong emphasis that they really, really want to come forward and kind of prove it to you that they are authentic, that they truly mean here what they're going to tell you. And uh, I'm getting that they really want you to trust them. This is someone who will ask for your forgiveness, Sagittarius. But the final say you will be yours. You will decide what to do with this situation. 
Sagittarius. I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Sagittarius, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time. Take care. Bye.